This is the C1 implant by MIS. Today we will place a 4.2 diameter 11.5 mm length C1 implant using the Comprehensive Conical Connection Surgical Kit in a premolar site for tooth number 44. The C1 is easily removed from the internal packaging using an insertion tool. The root shape design of the C1 provides horizontal compression while the variable thread design combination of thin cutting threads near the apex and wider threads near the implant neck, together with the self-tapping abilities of the implant, enable high initial stability. The surgical kit includes all of the following items. Marking drills, pilot drills with built-in stoppers, 2.4 mm body try-ins, step drills, body try-ins, C1 insertion tools, countersink drill for C1 placement procedure, prosthetic screwdrivers, drill extender, abutment extractors, probe, and a surgical ratchet wrench. The marking drill is used to start off the drilling sequence in an accurate manner. Its ring has a 4 mm diameter indicating the final implant position. After marking the correct drilling spot, we continue with the pilot drill. The pilot drill includes a built-in stopper where the drill tip is 2 mm in diameter while the rest of the drill is 2.4. This step ensures a more stable start to the procedure. The pilot drill goes to the full depth of the osteotomy. Once finished using the pilot drill, a body try-in is used to test the depth. After measuring the depth, we continue to the step drill, drilling until the correct marking. The tip of this drill includes a step which is the same diameter as the previously used drill. This provides a more precise positioning of the drill inside the osteotomy and a more accurate drilling procedure overall. A second step drill is used to widen the osteotomy. Once again, we check our depth with the body try-in. At this point, we are ready for the sterile, single-use final drill which is perfectly compatible with the implant we've chosen to place. Once we finish the drilling sequence, we are ready to place the implant. Use the insertion tool to remove the implant from the sterile packaging. To complete the placement, we use a torque wrench. The recommended torque for MIS implants is 35 to 60 NCM. After placement of the implant, use the insertion tool to remove the cover screw from the packaging and place it into the implant. To complete the procedure, Use a screwdriver to tighten the cover screw onto the implant. MIS. Make it simple.